that okay, like he wants to have that conversation with Yemina. And because we was that guy, there's no point any longer. I guess, guys, yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Just next is where you get all around entertainment. Just if you've not subscribed, just click the hit the subscribe button and make sure you click on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post new videos. I guess, so guys, I think it's high time we actually trust this Yemi and me are cool thing because it is actually getting out of hand as at now. Like, Kosi and Yemi are actually having a conversation. He was saying, like, at some point, like, it's going to get mad that he's going to scream at the top of his voice and everybody will understand that, yeah. These guys actually be keeping quiet for long. Okay, so guys, like Miracle does not seize any movements. Like he always quickly, quickly jumps at any opportunity to talk bad about Yemi. I guess so now, guys, like, I really don't know how to put this down, because when I talk, most of you be like, uh, like, uh, I'm always supporting Kosi, but I'm not supporting Yemi. But guys, seriously, when Yemi does his thing then we blew like Yemi does not hide it like all of us cannot like we cannot deny the fact that Yemi does it openly like the other day when he was lifting blew up in the living room area and then we could see black boy and miracle in the kitchen like it was very open the thing is if you want to cheat just like Tabang was saying to Kosi if you want to fuck around like fuck around but have the respect to hide it from me nobody is saying Yemi should not play his game obviously like nobody's telling him not to play his game but I just feel like this is my honest opinion here yeah. I just feel like it should have been very discreet about it like don't put it all up in uh, other people's face that they will say okay like ah, this is actually what you have going with this guy because even blue like blue does not mind with the side chick so if you if you like sneak into the toilet with her and all those kind of things she doesn't mind baby girl likes being the side chick she just doesn't want to be called a side chick but what she's doing is actually a side chick thing then again guys then about miracle okay so understand the fact that miracle likes kosi over why does he keep painting and the oh hey, Yemi talks bad about women and Yemi does not respect women and that thing actually gets Yemi very furious and other well guys I can't really fault both of them do because it's a game in as much as most of us actually emotionally invested in the play in the parts these housemates are playing but it's actually a game it's survival of the fittest everybody like most of them are just like okay fine I can I eliminate my my threats in the house I can I work what can I do to up my game and all that? So that's what everybody is doing. Whatever Yemi is doing, he feels that it's going to help his game. So he's actually doing that miracle, trying to like tell other housemates, okay, Yemi actually doesn't know how to do it. I think it's actually a way of putting ideas in other housemates' um, mind to kind of like nominate Yemi, put him up for eviction, which has actually been happening. But you know, now Yemi is actually strong. So Yemi is not going anywhere. So each one of them actually playing the game. So I'm not going to fault any one of them. Like, I can say, okay, fine. Like, Yemi being all open about his affairs and his flexing might not be good. And Miracle also trying to, like, talk bad about Yemi just because he wants other housemates to see him in certain light might not be good. But something like, like, but guys... Even not that Yemi is actually a mature person, yeah, seriously, if Yemi kind of like has the same attitude Miracle is bringing in, these people would have fought a long time back. They would seriously have fought just because Yemi is trying to like hold back, hold back, hold back, hold back. But at some point, I'm just thinking like, how long can Yemi actually hold back? Because you see Miracle, Miracle likes fights. Okay, this morning, Juicy and uh, Olivia were actually having a conversation. She was not trying to tell uh, Juicy like that this Miracle, Miracle ha likes fights. He likes looking for trouble. That yes, the, that uh, Kosi and Yemi were having a conversation. That's how Miracle now came. Are you okay? Just tell me you're good. Are you good? And all that. You know, like, Miracle likes poking Yemi because he wants to get a reaction. And you know, like, Miracle, like, with that smirk and his face, like, when he does something evil, you see him like, yeah. I've done what I need to do. So, like, Miracle is always poking Yemi to get a reaction. That's what I feel about Miracle. And I can't really fault him because that's his own strategy. Like, it's a game. Yeah, everybody will play the game as they seem fit. And the thing is, you didn't actually, like, anytime you see Yemi and Kosi actually talking about Miracle, like, Yemi gets 
furious. Like this guy, like why does he keep like uh, telling people like he's actually creating one kind of like impression about him that Yemi does not know how to respect women and which Yemi actually does not like. He does not like that at all. And trust me, guys, Miracle does not send. Like he sings it to anybody that cares to listen that I don't like the way Yemi talks to women. I don't like the way Yemi talks to Kirsty. And even tell it to Kirsty that anytime Yemi talks bad at to her again, like he's going to take it upon himself as the minister of human affairs that he is, that he's going to fight Yemi for talking bad at Kirsty. And Kirsty herself is still complaining because I don't know why Miracle is drinking Gary. I've been drinking Panada for another man's headache, but seriously, guys, whichever way, all these people, they are still creating drama, but I really hope they don't fight because if they fight, they will go on work. Yemi is kind of like handling it well, like he's angry, but at some point, he will need to voice out and have that serious conversation with Miracle, guys. I really, I kind of like pained him that that conversation didn't happen because Yemi actually wanted to go and talk to Miracle, but Miracle was like, he's not ready for that kind of conversation. I would have really loved for them to talk and see the outcome of that conversation. But trust me, guys, we what Yemi and Kosi were actually talking, like, Yemi is seriously pissed. And I remember the last diary session he had, I was talking to Big Brother, how Miracle used to say a lot of shit about him, like, he was very pissed. So, guys, trust me, in due time, these people will have that conversation. And, guys, it's going to be heated, like, it's going to be really heated. Also, guys, I would like to hear your thoughts on this, like, let's judge this thing logically, like, based on the game thing, because it's actually a game, As in as much as we want to say, okay, these people are actually living their reality. It is, it is a game. Like, these people are actually playing the game whichever way they deem fit and whichever way they feel that, okay, are we the viewers actually like, so to, in order to keep them still in the house. So let me ask you guys this question. Who do you think is actually the master game man? Yeah, that's between Yemi and Miracle. And if you're saying we should fought someone, okay, are we going to fought Yemi for not hiding his shit like the whole Yama Yama used to do with other ladies that is not making Kosi look stupid. But guys, then again, Kosi is playing a game. Kosi is playing a game. Everybody is playing a game. So guys, I'm not forcing anybody here. So guys, just hit the comment section. I'd like to know your thoughts on this whole miracle and Yemi feud. Like, who do you think is right here? Yeah, just hit the comment section, guys. Yeah, no, this note I've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you comment. I'll be waiting to read your comments, guys. So I come back again, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.